Here are six dramatic EastEnders spoilers for next week, including a shocking death, a steamy affair, and concern for a resident's mental state. Don't go anywhere. Spoiler 1. Pastor Clayton returns. At number 20, Yolandi is rather cautious about participating in the Harvest Festival events at her old church group, but Patrick tries to chizzy her on. However, the pair are then interrupted by DS Amity, who arrives and reveals that another woman has come forward in the Pastor Clayton case. Later on, Yolandi heads to the community centre, but her good spirits are soon soured when Pastor Clayton's wife Stella arrives and requests that Yolandi drops her charges. Yolandi stands up for herself but soon comes face to face with Pastor Clayton as he turns up at her doorstep when she returns home, barging his way in. Patrick, Howie and Kim are at the pub, meaning that Yolandi is completely alone. The pastor tries to get Yolandi to drop her charges, but Yolandi remains strong in defending herself. Saving the day, Denzel turns up and comes to Yolandi's rescue. After an eventful day, the police then turn up and inform Yolandi that Pastor Clayton has died by suicide. Spoiler 2, Bianca rumbles Reese's plans. Bianca continues her plan to get Sonia out of prison, noticing Reese with a mysterious letter. She's desperate to find out what it says. Kat warns Bianca to be careful. She agrees with Kat, but decides to continue with her mission. Debbie's parents later arrive with the solicitor to read the contents of their daughter's will. Whilst everyone's distracted, Bianca takes the letter Reese was hiding. Even though she's told to leave, Bianca starts to listen to Debbie's shocking requests in her will. And her plan just keeps continuing in our next spoiler. Spoiler 3, Reese gets recorded. Bianca decides to track down Debbie's parents and speaks to them about Reese's marriage to Debbie. Bianca sets out to share what she's found out with Kat, but Kat suggests she should see a GP to speak about her seemingly obsessive thoughts. Freddie also shares his concerns for Bianca. Still wanting to get evidence against Reese, Bianca borrows the microphone Freddie uses for bird watching. She plants it in number 25 so she can record a confession from Reese. Bianca supplies him with alcohol and Reese starts to loosen up before they're rudely interrupted by another Wolford resident. Spoiler 4 Freddie and Anna reconcile. Cindy supports her daughter and encourages her to pursue her feelings for Freddie. Anna decides to continue her friendship with Freddie though, as they both decide on another bird watching session together. Freddie and Anna arrive back at the Vic after an afternoon of bird watching, but it's clear that Ian's not happy with the situation. Cindy's fuming with Ian's audacity. Spoiler 5, Cindy meets up with Junior. After this, Cindy ups and leaves, with Junior clearly being the main thing on her mind. Back at number 45, it's clear Cindy isn't going to forgive Ian anytime soon, instead making up excuses so that she can have some fun time with Junior. With Cindy and Junior at Beale's Eels, they're unaware that Ian is on his way. Junior creates a plan to spend more alone time with Cindy, heading off to a hotel with her. However, later on, Junior asks Cindy for lunch. She rejects his offer though, leaving him wounded. And finally, spoiler 6, Tommy's troubles. Cass and Alfie continue to struggle with Tommy. As Tommy ditches school, Cass isn't happy with Alfie's lenient parenting approach. Trying to make things up to Cass, Alfie closes the bookies early to have a heart to heart. However, things don't quite go to plan and Alfie ends up losing his job. Perhaps feeling guilty, Tommy acts the nice guy in front of his parents, but something seems to be off. Later on, Tommy helps Alfie find a new job for the manager of the Minute Mart, but Alfie gets an unexpected surprise at the interview. Alfie has a big decision to make when Kat tries to convince Alfie to take the job, but will he? And if you enjoyed this week's EastEnders spoilers, subscribe so you can come back next week for more Wolford news.